Hi there, Kawa here. So, what a week we have ahead of us. Uh, it's Christmas week next week, and I expected uh, Oasis to give us something decent. They have a track record of not giving us much the last years, but this year it seems quite good. Um, also, this is one of their two last attempts that they can use to tempt us into recharging for Madara, Tentail, Jinchuriki. I know most of us are not going to, but you know, for the whales, you have to have something to tempt them, right? So, as uh, this week is quite amazing, uh, let's start this off. As you can clearly see, uh, we have two new units. We have the Edo Tensei Itachi, and we have the Christmas Sakura. Uh, so we're going to talk about Sakura first, so that um, it's easier on me, because there's less to talk about with her. Uh, Sakura here is one of those jokey type units, you don't really need to take her seriously. Uh, usually you would consider her like for collection purposes, but she is technically usable. Uh, so, as all Christmas units are, they come into the field and then they summon the Christmas tree, and then they interact with the tree some way. Uh, her interaction with the tree is that for her standard attack, she'll pick up the tree and then she'll attack somebody with the tree. It will take away the target's uh, super armor, and it does actually decent damage from what I can tell. Uh, it's not super amazing, but it is, she's a joke unit, what do you expect? And then uh, she also has a chase, so she drops like this giant present on top of you. I think it's a repulse to knockdown chase, and it causes chaos. I know the chaos is for sure, I'm not sure uh, if it chases repulse or not. And, uh, her mystery is she, yet again, picks up the tree and just, like, whacks people with it. Uh, it hits, like, three people, I think, and it does relatively decent damage, and it takes away super armor, also. And then, obviously, if she doesn't have the tree in play, uh, her mystery summons the tree. She can only have one tree. Uh, Ka Karen has two. Or, well, she can have more than two. But, yeah. Uh, okay. So, moving on to Itachi, Edo Tensei. <laughs> I'm just gonna say it right here. Uh, he is a very, very powerful support. Nobody should mistake him for a DPS. He is not a DPS. He does not have a DPS skill in his bones right now. Uh, so, for those who are not familiar with him, his mystery is well, in the Chinese server is called Dreamland. It's it's kind of like his Koto Matsukami that he has on Susano, but uh, it's only a one-time use. And then, you know, it goes onto CD. So, it's a unique one because it puts the target to sleep, but the target cannot uh, wake up for two turns, even through heals, unless they have 40 chakra. If you do not have at least 40 chakra, you cannot heal and remove this debuff. Um, and, yeah, it's more or less what his uh, mystery is. It is a very, very powerful uh, CC, seeing as, you know, you can't remove it, and if he catches you in it, you know, that unit's just out of commission for two rounds. Uh, his standard is, instead of having to sweep with his uh, Tosca Blade, it's going to be, uh, he hits a row instead of uh, a line, well, he's a, uh, my mistake, he hits a line, he hits a line instead of hitting a row. Okay, so... To better explain, he hits horizontal. He hits vertically. He hits vertically instead of horizontally. <laughs> Not to confuse anybody. So he's like Edo Hiruzen. Um and it does knockdown. And he only has one chase this time. He does not have the Yasaka Magatamas because that's a standard now. Uh, his chase is obviously the Amaterasu, the high float to low float, uh, high combo, and eight night. And uh, he has two other passives this time. Uh, he has the Genjutsu Mirror. He'll reflect the first debuff uh, that's targeted onto your team each round and send it back. On top of the mirror, there's another effect with the mirror where... It, I believe the number is two. The first two ninjutsu uh, type skill damage that hits your team is reduced by 50%. He was made to anti... Uh, Grudge Mode Kakuzu in the Chinese servers because Kakuzu standards were all uh, pure Nin 
and he was just hitting really hard and trucking people. So the idea was that you had Itachi mitigating some of that damage. Uh, this also works really well against Hiruzen, like Edo Hiruzen, because he's gonna, you know, do his damage right away, and then Itachi's gonna have it instantly. It's a very good protection for your team, uh, and it makes fights last a little, little longer, and it keeps, like, the Blitz teams um, at bay for now. Uh, and his last passive is his Crow Dodge. Well, it's Clo uh, Crow Clone Jutsu. Um, he dodges all... Uh, I'm not going to say all, but he, from what I see, he dodges like 95% of the time. He dodges 95% of the time of any chase that uh, hits him. So it's kind of like uh, Kage Summit Madara, but I feel like it's a higher percent rate because I rare to never see him get hit by an actual chase. Um, and yeah, that's his skill kit. So yeah, moving on to the actual events. Uh... The weekly strong units are definitely units that I assume people are interested in picking up. We have the Sasuke Susano, the Kakashi Susano, and we have the Six Path Naruto. And then we have the great uh, versatile unit of uh, Five Kage Summit Madara. Uh, for those who don't have the Madara, you should probably pick him up. He's a excellent unit. You're going to be using him in the foreseeable future. Um, and for those who are interested, you could pick up the Naruto Sage of Six Paths. Granted though, if you have already a decent DPS, I wouldn't suggest you to go crazy on picking him up. Uh, probably pick a Power instead, because his price tag is not cheap, and if you already have a decent DPS, he's not necessary. He doesn't, you know, break the game in any way that, you know, everyone likes to claim he does. He's really not that hard to counter if you know what you're doing. I'm just gonna put it out there. <laughs> uh, I'm not gonna go into details because I always have to go into details to defend myself. I don't feel like doing it this time. All right. Um, so yeah, we haven't seen the Hebe Himes in a long while. Uh, the two of them. Uh, so whoever likes to collect units and are missing them, here's your chance. I am actually missing one of them. I think I'm missing the amber one. So I'm probably gonna pick them up because I haven't seen them for at least six months now. And I've been w wondering where the hell have they been. I'm also missing the Chinese dress uh, 1010. And I definitely haven't seen her in like, at least 8 months. Alright, so moving on to the events. Uh, if in Tsukiyomi, nothing to see here. This is just that moderate recharge. Uh, most of us are probably not going to do it. Because they're asking for quite a lot. And I'm pretty sure people who are interested in picking up this unit can just wait it out. He's going to show up again. <laughs> he's he's exclusive in a way, but eventually he will show up again. Uh, Alright, so the Snowy Christmas event. Um, I don't recall seeing this event before. I could be wrong, because, you know, if it showed up only for Christmas, uh, it's been a year. <laughs> I, I don't recall this event. <laughs> but it looks like it's one of those um, free events where you don't really have to do anything. I don't... Well free to a point where, you know, you, apparently you could buy more Christmas hearts. So, I assume there's a ninja or something in here that's going to tempt people to do this event. Um, I suspect Sakura's in here. Highly likely, actually. She, highly likely she's in this event. Uh, okay, moving forward. So, we also have the total recharge rebate. Uh, kind of expected, seeing they're putting so much into this week, they're going to try to get us a recharge and to spend at the same time. So, the total recharge rebate, I'm under the suspicion that Itachi's in here. Um, if people are wondering his price tag, I'm estimating 30k recharge? No, is it 30k? No. Yeah, 30k recharge, yeah. Uh, I was suspecting 30k recharge. Um, they might go as far as 40, but I think it's going to be 30. Um... Yeah, Edo Touch is very good, but, you know, obviously, if you don't have the money to spend on it, don't, just, don't, <laughs> don't kill yourself over it. Uh, and then, on top of that, we also have the Seven Days of Welfare. Uh, it's a recharge event, you know, you recharge and you get stuff. I haven't seen this in a while, either, so I don't really remember how it works exactly, but I obviously know, you know, you recharge a certain amount and you get free stuff. But... 
I don't remember. Well, at least I won't know what they're giving us, but I hope something decent's in here. And then here we have the task. Uh, this is relatively easy. Just spend one seal scroll on the Kage treasure and <laughs> spend one on these other treasures. And just do the rest of the stuff. It's free. It doesn't cost you anything. Uh, okay. And the gingerbread thing. I always hated this event, I remember. Because it gave out usually crappy things and it was just something I wouldn't bother with. And it's 100% free and you don't get more gingerbreads unless, you know, you do the recharge. So it was just like, eh. It was not an event I like to deal with. I don't ever remember anything good being in here either. So maybe they'll change it up? So they also, uh, as we can see, pushed up Fukumaru deals again. Uh, so if this is more for people who have been saving coupons, this is an excellent chance now, again, to spend your coupons. Uh, they brought back Fukumaru. I suspect that there's a unit hiding in here. Uh, I really have no idea who it, who it could be or who it would be. Uh, unless Sakura's in here instead of in the other event that's a possibility and the only other one who probably can come to mind is uh, Baldi if the bald monk is located in here I would not mind seeing as his skill changes uh, at four stars and we can only get him at three at four stars his mystery uh, does the same general thing where he summons the fisk and they all punch you but then at four stars uh, the fisk after he does that attack, he also has this thing like where you know where Hinata has, where she has the protection, um, where if you attack him, uh, like a little fist comes up and it uppercuts you, and it it does uh, counter damage. Uh, I don't know how we're supposed to get that unless you know he shows up somewhere. Uh, maybe he'll show up here. Got to get question mark. Not sure. Definitely, there's a ninja hiding in here. I just have no clue who it could be. I don't think they're gonna put Sakura in here, but that'd be just silly. Like, you know, you could put her in the other event. Why would they put her here? Um, but yeah, this is a perfect chance to spend your coupons. They bumped up Fukumaru, what, two weeks? Yeah, this is like two weeks ahead of schedule. And, um, we have the colorful balloons here for people who want to spend ingots. Uh, great spending chance. Uh, there should be power options in here and some other rare ninja located in here. Uh, not like the ones that we were I'm talking about at the top, but like, you know, Shark Mokasame maybe. You know, those type of other units that people are interested in picking up. Uh, on top of that, we have Lucky Board. So this is very friendly to uh, coupon spenders. Lucky Board is a really good event for, I want to say, lower to mid-tier players. Because us high-tier players already don't have anything left on the board they really need. Uh, but we still do it, obviously, if there's a reward that we can pick up. But I don't think there's been anything super relevant recently to us. But yeah, for more coupon savvy players who are mid tier, this is very good for you. Um, you can pick up free power while also picking up some ninja if you wanted them. That's if they're located in Lucky Board. Uh, I I want to say Naruto is here. Six Path Naruto? I, I really want to say that he might be in here. Uh, maybe Kakashi, too. It's very possible. Uh, okay, moving forward. So, limited... Uh, Time-limited ninja recruitment is the one with the bot with the treasure chest and the keys. Uh, yet again, it's one of those... I can't tell who's in here, but I suspect either, you know, Naruto or Sasuke. If, you know, either one of them has to be here and one of the lucky board is my assumption. Uh, and then we have the Lucky Wheel. Uh, I usually tend to try to avoid this event. I just don't bother with it most of the time. Uh, well, Waste has seemed like they have learned not to put rare people as, you know, the prize on the wheel. So I don't think they're going to put one of the, you know, named people at the top here. There's, so, there's definitely going to be someone, uh, you know, here as the grand prize. Uh, but I feel like they wouldn't do that when you know there's so many events that take a place them into outside of the wheel like there's, a, there's definitely someone good here but it's not one of the four listed at the top 
is what I'm trying to say. Uh, we have also time limited re refinement uh, for people who <laughs> have advanced ref or uh, not advanced, but just have refines saved up. Uh, remember, don't do it on. If you're doing advanced refines, freeze them at level 7 and do not push them over unless you can get them to level 10 in one go. That is going to cost you around 1,100 advanced refines to go from level 7 to 10 through the uh, rebate. So remember that, or else you're losing out on about roughly three to f 300 in change worth of advanced refines, and you don't want to do that. Uh, we have recruitment feedback, which is the seal scrolls. So, yeah, wait, didn't we just have this? Yeah, I think we just had this. <laughs> so, yeah, we, we apparently got it again. Uh, okay, so let's recap real quick. Let me quickly scroll through and see where everybody could be. Okay, so Sasuke, Kakashi, Naruto, and Madara. Let's question this. So... What are the odds that they decided to put Sasuke into the Fukumaru deals as like a Christmas gift to everybody? Because they already did Naruto once. There's a good chance they could do Sasuke in here as like a Christmas gift to everybody. Then put Naruto back in the lucky board. Put Kakashi over in the time limited ninja recruitment. And I guess Madara and the balloons? That could be a legit thing to do. And obviously, I I'm just saying, Edo Itachi is definitely in the recharge event. There is no way in hell they're going to put 80 frags of him on the lucky Wheel of Fortune. Because that's going to upset a lot of people. And their week looks really good right now. And I really don't want to think that they'll do something stupid like that. Um, maybe they'll put like a Shisui in here. <laughs> As the, you know, the 80 frags, because a lot of people like it. I don't care for it. But yeah. Uh, yeah, so it'd be quite amazing if they actually put Sasuke here under the Fukumaru deals. That'd be very generous of them. I, I completely forgot they could do that because I didn't remember Naruto was in here at one point. Alright, so uh, that's a review of all the events. And for all my loyal viewers who are still here, I am going to share with you a secret interaction that I recently, well, not recently, but I learned about. Uh with Edo Itachi. So if you're still here, um, you can get the know-hows on this nice little trick I learned. So apparently, the way that Itachi's mystery works, the sleep, it is stronger than what most people would assume. And I say that because if you're able to land a sleep onto a person who is immune, such as a Jinchuriki, like Six Path Naruto. For example, let's say I hit him with, you know, hot-blooded Kushina, and I removed his uh, immunity for one turn, and then I tag him with uh, Itachi's Misleep. Even though he regains his immunity the next round, the sleep will not fall off. Because the sleep specifically says it cannot be healed off unless they have 40 chakra. And that's the only way to remove the sleep. So, yeah. It's a very interesting interaction, and I've seen it in action. Uh, but obviously, you know, it's not a one man job. You actually have to have a way to, you know suppress the immunity first and if you suppress it then if you tag them with the sleep and they don't have the chakra to clear it it carries over it, it i found that as a very interesting interaction it is the only uh cc that i know of that ignores immunity coming back but obviously you have to jump through the hurdle of removing it first before you can get it to work so yeah that's my um gift to my loyal viewers who have been watching this whole video uh this is that nice low secret that you guys get to learn and also i know not a lot of people watch this all the way through and usually there's only about like 400 of you people who view this and i say about maybe half of you get here so let's keep it a secret <laughs> all right have fun with this week guys